It's Monday the 1st of January 2024 and uh, welcome to a new year, uh, welcome to a new vlog and I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and uh, a great new year and I want to wish you all the best for the coming year uh, with whatever you're doing. If you're running a store then let's hope you have lots of success uh, with the store this year and uh, if you're building then uh, you know hope you get to build some uh, some great sets some great mocks and um, just enjoy the lego community as it is uh, now um, obviously we've had orders in over the, the last couple of days obviously i've been working if you watched last week's vlog i was working throughout the christmas period getting orders out and getting them uh, off as quickly as i possibly could and now uh, I have got some more orders in uh, over the last two days and need to get these prepped and ready to go out in the morning uh, between 8 and 10 as usual. Uh, so um, if we have a look at what we've got, we've got 17 uh, orders on Bricklink uh, to go out, which is um, three three 3,337 items in 223 Lots, if we look on Brick Owl, is a little quieter uh, with just uh, four orders. Uh, I have just quartered someone for shipping, so that'll probably turn into five. Uh, 48 lots on there, 243 items. And then on eBay, um, we have just got the uh, four items to post. And as usual, um, I've gotten started with things and we are ready uh, to get some uh, packed and uh, ready to ship. So um, you'll have to excuse uh, the voice, which is still very, very uh, croaky uh, from the cold that I've got still trying to fight it off, to be honest with you. Uh, but first up, we've got an order on, uh, on eBay for three uh, Series 25 figures. Um, they're the usual suspects, the film noir, detective, the mushroom, and uh, for the first time, I think, uh, the um, pet groomer. And then on eBay also, we've sold uh, one of these uh, Black Falcon Knights, and then we're into the typical parts orders that are going out. So lots of uh, dark bluish grey and light bluish grey plates going out there. Um, white and black parts that look like they're clearly for a, a car of some sort. Um, a little order going off to France here for 19 of these, um, one by one with a, a tooth in dark red. Uh, we've got some Minecraft uh, figures going out, uh, all kinds of stuff in there. And then, um, remember the other week we got that little haul from eBay, which included this lawnmower, uh, that's now sold, along with a few other bits and pieces. The lawnmower was three pound fifty, and uh, was one of those things that you know didn't necessarily expect to sell uh, very quickly. I think it's originally from a Fabuland uh, set. Uh, more parts orders, and then we've got a couple of the figures going out that I made up recently. Uh, one was the Reinhardt Wilhelm uh from uh overwatch and then griff halloran from star wars and a few more uh orders over here some tiles i think these are mostly from one of the simpsons sets uh the simpsons house i think and then more parts some of these parts are from the um the technic uh tractor that i bought uh a vlog or two back and then we've got uh, a few things here. We've got a, a friend's horse going out and a few other bits and pieces. We've got a bit of track going out. And then I've got these two uh, just pack. Uh, we've got some Minecraft uh, figures again and a few other bits and bobs that I just need to get bagged up. And then this first batch is then ready to go. And I'll... Get these packed up uh, ready and then i'll probably take a couple of hours out we've got uh, 
family coming round for dinner again today and uh, we're going to watch the football and uh, we'll probably get to the rest of the orders this evening. It's Tuesday the 2nd of January <clears throat> and I've got to uh, apologise for the voice again because I'm still very, very croaky and I didn't get as much done last night as I'd hoped um, with family round and one thing and another. Um, so... I did as much as I could last night and I've finished off this morning. Still got about four orders to pick, actually. Um, so we'll have to get those out later today or tomorrow. Um, let's have a quick look at what we've got. Um, we've got uh, a nice order here for a few parts in bulk, especially these uh, 4 by 4 green plates, which I got in over Christmas, actually. And this customer's bought 130 of those. Um, we've got various uh, white uh, parts in particular going out there. An order for just uh, four or five lots of uh, trans-coloured uh, uh, one by one round bricks, uh, which is a bit of an unusual order. Not sure what they're doing with those. And then a few more parts orders. And then we've got uh, a biggish order here. I think this was the largest in terms of quantity uh got 100 and something two by four dark azure bricks and lots of other bricks in dark azure and medium azure etc and a lot of those particularly the dark azure came from that vehicle uh box that i did uh just before christmas uh so good to see those moving um, we've got an odd here for various uh, minifig related uh parts and then three more uh, modest orders over here, uh, including one of these um, for uh, this part, which came out of the Technic tractor that I bought um, not long before Christmas and uh, got those parted out. And I did that partly because of these. And I think I'm the only store in the UK that actually has those in stock. Uh, so anyway, I need to get those packed up. Um, we've got half an hour to get to the post office and uh, then I'll be getting back and finishing up the other orders. Let's take a look at the last batch of orders going out. And um, we've got a Ninjago minifig going out here. There's lots of uh, one by four medium lavender and some two by two tiles. We've got some dark orange parts going out. Then we've got a bunch of Technic stuff, some of which was from the tractor that we got uh, before Christmas. And then a uh, couple more modest uh, parts orders going out there as well. Um, I'm going to be dropping these in the post box um, today. And I say the post box, this is the one outside the depot. Um, so those are collected uh, before six in the evening. So we'll get those out to people today. And then uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Now, I've been doing a bit of research today. Uh, so not doing too much on the store. Being actually trying to uh, look into some hard drives and things. So just looking on Amazon at um, getting uh, some kind of external hard drive enclosure. Um, that's super fast and it's I say a hard drive it's not traditional sort of hard drive it's these um, uh, flash memory cards etc whatever you want to call them these days but um, still sort of a bit surprised at the price so we'll see whether we pull the trigger on that or not uh, but in the meantime I'll go and get those orders packed and away it's Wednesday morning uh, still croaky I'm afraid and a really quick look at what we've got going out today because um, I'm really running late and I need to get to the post office. So um, on eBay, <clears throat> we've got a friend's Paisley figure going out. And then we've got a few small orders. Uh, this one's a bunch of these um, um, black and, and uh, yellow danger stripes. We've got a Boba Fett keychain and a sticker sheet going out. Then we've got a couple of nice uh, parts orders. Uh, this one um, for, I can't remember how many lots, I think that was 60 lots. And then uh, a little order there for a regular customer. And then this one's the biggest, um, only 38 lots, but almost everything was in 
quantity of about 40 or so so fairly large in terms of bulk so really rushing got to get these off to the post office quickly and uh, we'll see what we're going to do later I'm finally getting around to separating these uh, poly bags from the various uh, magazines that they came with and uh, getting them listed onto eBay and uh, Bricklink as is appropriate. And uh, uh, surprised actually, because when, when I picked them up, I wasn't really uh, thinking about this, but I'd, I was thinking that I was picking them up, getting a Captain Marvel and a Captain America. Um, on each one and then I didn't realize that some of them had Loki's on as the second option so quite nice in a way because I actually end up with three different poly bags uh, available all from buying the same uh, magazine now I find it really interesting when you're looking on eBay and there's some people that have dozens and dozens or even hundreds of the same ones of these and I can't imagine that they're going round and picking up the magazines from different outlets to get that quantity so i'm assuming that they have an outlet to get these uh direct as the poly bag rather than buying the magazine but i'd be interested uh for someone to confirm that um uh, i don't know how much there would be um if you're getting them separate um and i also don't know what happens to them you know when and if the magazines don't sell um i assume that they get returned back to the manufacturer and that's what how they appear back as a a second item on the magazine but i could be completely uh wrong in that um but um they're a great little thing to get listed on uh, ebay in particular and uh, and bricklink as well and um it's always worth looking, especially on Bricklink, which is the best way to be moving these. Because, you know, you think about it, you can sell them as the poly bag, but the poly bag has a minifigure in it. And then the minifigure will have a separate listing on Bricklink. So you can sell just a minifigure. You could break the parts down. Um, you know, if you just sell a minifigure, then something like with the Captain America, you'd probably just sell a minifigure and then you'd have a helmet and a shield to sell separately. So you might make more money by doing that. Um, I don't think that would be the case in this instance, because I think the Captain uh, America is only worth about £2.50. Uh, but you get the idea. You know, there are several ways to skin a cat in this particular case. Now, the worst thing is, it's a bit of a shame about the magazines, because for me, they're just going to go in the bin, and uh, they should really go to someone who would use them. Even my own grandkids are really too young for, for them, um, so they'll probably end up just getting thrown out. <coughs> I'm just circling back on uh, some of the things that I need to finish off uh, sorting out, and this is... Um, a bag that came in the gift that uh, Steve sent um, back in December and there are a few th things still in his box that I never got to. Uh, lots of uh, trans clear, trans light blue and trans black or old brown as it is now. We've also got a build of 75432. So I'm just, um, because I'm a little bit under the weather, I'm just sort of, don't want to get, you know take on anything too big if if you know what i mean while i'm not feeling great so i'm just uh doing some of this tidying up uh work that to be honest can be a bit of a pain um sort of just just working through these when you don't know what they are and then you've got to go and find them and list everything but um they are what they are and they need to be done and um it, it's easy work while i'm sort of sat here just watching a bit of youtube and um cracking on um you know listening to stuff and um just taking it easy really so anyway we'll uh, get this lot added to a brick store file and we'll see what we've got so i've cleared the uh, box that uh, was left over from steve uh, so the box is now completely empty we processed absolutely everything this is the last of it to go away and we managed to squeeze another uh 
293 items in 123 lots for about £28. So that's another £20, £27 something um, value that came out of that gift. And again, I'm going to thank Steve again uh, for what he sent. I don't know if he realises uh, just how much he sent, but it's really, really uh, appreciated. Uh, so I just need to get this lot uploaded now and then... A uh, bit of tidying up, I think. I'll finish uh, the day off. And um, we're going to try and finish a little bit earlier tonight. It's Thursday the 4th of January. And we're starting a little late this morning. Um, because we've got a late uh, uh, post run. I decided to uh, not rush up quite so much this morning. And things are a little quieter. I think when people are starting to get back to work. Uh, things are quietening off a little bit. So we've got uh, four orders on Bricklink, um, just 76 lots, 511 items. Uh, picked a couple of those uh, yesterday evening, in fact. And then on Brick Owl, uh, we've just got the one uh, item there. Now on eBay, um, we've got nine items going out, um, which is, is again, the uh, collectible minifigs. So, they continue to sell well. And the majority of um, the uh, figures that we've got left are the lesser uh, desirable ones. So things are gonna slow down considerably there. So uh, anyway, we better go and get packing and picking and uh, we can crack on with something else. I think I had a problem on last week's video when I tried to show these sets and I think the music just started playing out so you didn't really understand what I was saying about them. And um, these are um, the Avengers Quinjet uh, 76248 which I happened to pick up from my local Tesco and uh, picked these up at £54 each reduced from retail of 90 and I thought at £54, they weren't a bad buy. So I managed to get uh, three of them and they'll be getting parted out shortly and uh, getting added to the store. And I've already listed uh, the figures, etc. while I'm waiting to uh, get the rest of it parted out. Now, um, on to today's uh, orders that I'm just going to get packed up uh, ready for the post office this afternoon. Uh, on eBay, we've got some more collectible minifigs going out. Then uh, the start of the parts orders. Nothing too much to mention. Another uh, eBay order, for again, for collectible minifigures. Two different orders from the same person here for five more of the uh, figures. Uh, regular uh, customer here. Uh, Emma's been coming uh, and buying from me. Uh, pretty regularly of late and uh, she also bought from me off eBay recently as well which is good and um, more parts orders here and then um, another regular on uh, Brick Owl bought some of these uh, quarter tiles and um, buying them in, in coral is nice uh, always good to move some of those and we've got a minifigure uh, uh, breastplate going out and then a bunch of plates and things going out on another order here so we're going to get those packed up um i, will, I wish i had more to say about um parting these out or other things i'm still feeling pretty run down to be quite honest with you and not really feeling uh much of of doing anything um but we'll see what i can find to do uh, we'll keep pottering away uh, maybe just sit down again at the desk and add some more uh, used parts or something and uh, see what we can get added well friday morning's here already and the week's gone really quick this week and i've got to be honest it's been a bit of a lazy uh start of the year with the way uh that i've been feeling etc so um apologies for the lack of uh, interesting content. Um, I'm probably going to try and get these parted out this morning. Um, so we'll uh, go through that a little bit possibly. But uh, let's have a look at what we've got uh, going out this morning. Nothing um, big, but a couple of unusual things. Um, we've got uh, a Mixel set going out to the US. 
and this was all built up i've just broken it down enough uh, to ship um rather than breaking it right down to the component level um then we've got a serial cable um going out here to germany um this is a, a spybotics uh, serial cable came in the brick pickers um acquisition to be quite honest with you so it's just been sat in the drawer for a year but it's sold for six pound fifty so it just shows that things do sell uh, eventually um we've got a barrel going out but i think um they've ordered a reddish brown and i think this is brown so i'm waiting for them to come back to me to see what they want me to do about that and this was the same buyer as uh, an order i went out yesterday for and they placed another one uh, for some more quarter tiles in a different colour. Um, so we'll get those out to them today. And then a few parts going out there. And then a couple of eBay orders. We've got uh, two of the Harpies going out. And one of the pet groomers. And to give you an indication of um, how those collectible minifigs have gone. I bought four cases of them. And there were 36 in each case and i'm not going to do the maths but um i think i've got 40 something left and of course those are the less popular figures but you know i don't think that's too bad um in just a, a week or two of uh, moving those out um we've got about 40 or so left and keep in mind that you know some of those were selling at 8.99 so not too bad at all really um, not sure I'm going to bother getting any more though. Um, just that I, I think eBay is now probably swamped with them. I did them because I got in early. Um, but I, I think there'll be loads of people selling them now on, on eBay. So I'll put my money somewhere else, uh, for now. And, um, not sure what that'll be. Um, but probably in parts or sets and, uh, we'll see how we get on with that approach. Right, so I'm about to part out these three sets and uh, you might notice a difference in location. That's because I've moved into our uh, kitchen diner area and um, the reason I do this is because we've got a nice island here in the middle of the uh, kitchen which is at a great height. It's, it's really at a kind of a uh i want to say a belly button level and um what that means is you're not bending over half as much when you're parting the sets out and um that i just find it so much more comfortable than in my own room um at the tables there where i'm having to stoop a lot more and it's a lot more fatiguing for long periods so if i'd had the space in my room um I would have made a desk in the middle of the room at this kind of height. It's just so much better. I'd have had storage underneath it. But the problem with doing that would have meant that any space above uh, would have been restricted for drawers and things like that, which is the reason I didn't do it in the first place. So I've got my cups laid out, or some cups laid out. I've got a tray over there on the dining table with more uh, cups. So what we need to do is uh, open the boxes and um, get these chipped out. A little bit hard with one hand. Only open one box. So I'll tip the bags out and then we'll get all of the other um, boxes opened and sort them into bag number. Looks like there are about seven, seven bags here. So we'll get um, all of the boxes opened, uh, stack all of the bags up, and then one by one, we'll just grab a bag and uh, get it open, open it into the tray here. I've got one of these um, nice sort of funnel trays, or what I'll sometimes use is those larger sort of tubs that kind of, um, Haribo sweets and things come in. You know, you sometimes get a tub that's a much higher tub. And I'll, I'll often sort in those as well. And then we'll just um, sort into, into the cups. 
and then um, when I've got them uh, into the cups, I'll stack by colour and, and load them up onto trays over there. So I'll show you that a little bit later uh, when I've got some of this parted out. So this is kind of what it looks like when the cups are stacked in the trays. Um, this one's not the best example just because of the amount of things that are sticking above the cup level. So the cups aren't stacking particularly well. That's probably a better example of what they end up like. Now I've got three trays on the go here um, just to get them back into my room. And I'm starting to put them away now. So I've got my laptop in front of me, um, which I only use uh, for this purpose, to be honest. Uh, pretty much, it's quite an old laptop, but I only use it for putting away. And um, uh, I use it really because it's central to the room, central to the desk, and just more convenient. Um, my main setup, of course, is over here. And I would have... Um, prepared the file on brick store etc on the main computer um, so that's about it really you know I've uh, I'm working through the file now and as I'm putting items away I'm adding them um, adding the location in the remarks column here and um, that's how we know where everything goes of course and uh, then we can get it priced and get it uploaded so just a quick update to show you that I've now uh, uploaded the uh, parts from the uh, part out and uh, we ended up with 2,347 items in 193 lots for £258 there or thereabouts. But keep in mind that none of the minifigures are in this list because the minifigures uh, have gone onto eBay so they're not included in the list which would have put the part out value uh, much higher obviously um, now I've just uploaded those and that's uh, meant that we've added 88 lots uh, from that we're still below our 14,000 that we were at uh, a month or, or so back we we're at 13,765 so we really need to get back to work to be honest and start um, you know, um, getting more stuff added to the store and increasing the uh, inventory size, lock count, etc. Um, uh, uh, you know, as uh, as I'm feeling a little bit uh, better now, hopefully you can hear in the voice that um, you know we're we're much improved to where we were earlier in the week. So um, I'm going to hope for a better week uh, next week in terms of getting things done and, and uploaded to the store and um yeah we'll uh, take it easy over the weekend and come back fighting next week mm -hmm.